Okay, so let's write the formula for aluminum oxide. First thing we need to do is see what type of compound we have. We know that aluminum is a metal and oxygen is a nonmetal. That means it's going to be ionic and we're going to need to think about the ionic charges. When we look on the periodic table, we can see that aluminum has a plus three charge and oxygen that has a minus two charge. So let's write the symbol for aluminum, Al, and the symbol for oxygen and we'll put our plus three here and our minus two right there. In order to write the formula, this formula actually is not balanced. So we're going to have to change the subscripts, these numbers down here, to get a balanced chemical equation. Whenever I have a charge of three, I'll usually double that. So let's put a two right here. And when I double that, two times plus three, that's going to give me a positive six. Then over here, I can put a three, three times minus two, that gives me a negative six. When I do that, I have a minus six and a plus six. Those charges balance out, and this is the formula for aluminum oxide. But we can check this using the crisscross method. So to use the crisscross method, I'm just going to take the two here and cross it over here. And then on this side, I'm going to take the three and move it down here. And let's get rid of these charges. And that gives me Al2O3, just like I got before. So that confirms that Al2O3 is the correct formula for aluminum oxide. So we figured out that we had an ionic compound because we had a metal and a nonmetal. We looked the charges up on the periodic table. Then we balanced the charges by changing the subscripts and checked our work with the crisscross method. If you're not here at the Naminator website right now, check it out. There's lots of practice and help for naming and writing chemical formulas. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.